Rwanda is a landlocked country in the Great Rift Valley of Central Africa. Located a few degrees south of the equator, it's bordering with Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. With an estimated total population of 12 million, Rwanda is a relatively young country. 50% of the population is under 20 years old. Every country has a blend of light and darkness. Unfortunately, Rwanda is associated in many people's minds with the genocide in 1994. However, this is changing as the young population takes over and focuses more on its culture, community work, and development. One of these inspiring stories of young leadership is the story of Ian. I first met Ian when he attended one of my Inspire Sport and Leadership programs in a town called Nayamata in August 2019. Ian Barula was born in 1992. His mother died during childbirth and his father died during the genocide, leaving him alone with his grandmother who lived in extreme poverty. So he was forced to take care of himself, his grandmother, and his disabled cousin from a really young age. He suffered a lot when he was a kid. He was working herding cattle in exchange for food while at the same time attending public school. It was hard, but he never gave up. I remind myself of my own experience and my mantra they shall not suffer as we suffered. I remind myself of my dream. What is very clear about Ian is his dedication and commitment to his mission. They shall not suffer as we have suffered. It is his greatest strength. And that is the reason he started his foundation, to provide an education for those who would not otherwise receive one. And it is an education for life, not just for passing exams. The values underpinning all of his work, empathy, fairness, and kindness. Ian built the foundation in 2017. Its goal is to fight against poverty, hunger, and lack of other basic needs amongst children. The foundation takes a holistic approach by providing children with the means to become self-reliant and gain an education. When I started my foundation with just 5,000 of Rwandan francs for my university scholarship, I had just four children on my programs. In three years, the foundation has grown to support three districts and 823 children. One of the main programs of the foundation is self-reliance. Each child is given a rabbit which they must take care of, breed, and turn into equity, which can enable them to buy livestock of a higher value. On top of that, children learn lessons about morality, human values, financial literacy, saving, and public speaking. Ian's upbringing was incredibly difficult, but this gave him the strength to pursue his purpose, they shall not suffer as we did, and create the Barulo Foundation he shows genuine empathy and integrity to the children in the foundation by instilling pro-social values in them. Because of this, he serves and is seen as a leader to his children by merit and respect, and not by his own desire for recognition or fame. Uh, I don't see myself as a leader, uh, but I love the idea that my work will inspire and enable and encourage others so I work hard to show leadership. Uh, for me, uh, leadership is to inspire, to enable, and to encourage others to achieve a common and a noble purpose. Every great leader has a vision and a dream. This is also true for Ian. His dream is all about the children. My dream is that every child in Rwanda, and perhaps the world, has an education and upbringing that gives them the qualities, skills to live fulfilling life, and the social awareness and responsibility to create the safe and harmonious world. 
Ian has not only long-term dreams. Next step for the Barulo Foundation is building the Barulo Village, a place for the children to play and to learn. The work on the village started in 2022 and is currently in progress. There is no doubt that Ian is a great leader, positively affecting many lives, doing his bit, and getting every day closer to his dream, described by his mantra, they shall not suffer as we suffered. <laughs>